This is the story of Raven Jackson, age 24, a beautiful serial entrepreneur, motivational speaker, and fitness model who died after hitting the ground from her 42nd apartment story building. Her boyfriend was so sad about what happened, he shared his emotions on social media where people mourned with him while the real reason why beautiful Raven died was being investigated by the police department. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Mississippi. Mississippi is known and famous for its southern charm and bluegrass music. This state is home to the famous Mississippi River, legendary catfish, and is the birthplace of Elvis Presley and Oprah Winfrey. It offers museums and historical sites and is also an area of great natural beauty. Raven Jackson was born on 23rd of September 1997, she was born in Tennessee but grew up in Mississippi. Raven was a serial entrepreneur, social media celebrity, fitness freak, and a motivational speaker. From the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to sleep at night, you are running. You are running from the very thing that could be the solution to all of your problems. You get high, you get drunk, you indulge. You surround yourself with distractions because you are afraid to be alone with your thoughts. You've taken the most powerful weapon that you possess and you've managed to weaponize it against yourself. Your mind. Don't you understand? If you can't control your thoughts, then you cannot control your actions. Therefore, you are not in control of your life. How many times in a day? Matter of fact, how many times just today alone before you even clicked on this video have you talked yourself or thought yourself out of making a decision that was in your own best interest? Whether it was not waking up in time or failing to complete a task, these self-destructive behaviors are a direct result of your inability to discipline your mind. See, throughout your life, little seeds have been planted. Seeds of self-doubt, seeds of insecurity, seeds of chaos. You have been programmed. And that's not your fault. But at some point, you have to take back your life. She was into a lot of things altogether. Raven went to a local school in her hometown. After completing high school, she enrolled at Auburn University to study biomedical sciences and after that she joined Jackson State University for her higher studies making her a well-educated individual. Sis, if you keep molding yourself to fit every man you come across, how is your soulmate going to find you or even recognize you when he's under the impression that you are somebody else? You have a bunch of people out here trying to maintain relationships with people who aren't meant for them out of the fear of being alone. Why does the idea of being in the presence of self intimidate you so much? You can't learn to love yourself through the eyes of everyone else because most times people don't love you for who you are but for how who you are makes them feel, see? Stop introducing people to a vibe you can't maintain and become comfortable and unwavering in your individuality so that you may begin to attract the people, things, and ideas that are meant for you. See, I don't know who needs to hear this, but not every man is supposed to be your career, honey. Some are just teachers. Learn your lesson, pass that class, and go. Her mother describes her as a very happy and jovial person. She was charming, loving, funny, smart, and sweet. Raven also known as Ray was the life of the party. She always make others smile. She was very close to her family and takes care of home. Ray had a following on social media which made her popular to some extent. She helped people lose weight, motivate people in certain areas of their lives. She also has a clothing line. Her large following on Instagram shared how inspired they were by her motivational posts. The Tennessee native is also an award-winning filmmaker for short movies like Nettles and A Guide to Breathing Underwater and made her national directorial debut on All Roads Lead to Salt for A24 alongside producers Barry Jenkins and Adele Romanski. Ray had a very big media following because of her stunning personality and gorgeous face. She was the CEO of Go Crazy Fitness LLC since 2019. She gave training to people and also helped them in other ways. I can't be mad at Ari for not promoting a product that she didn't like. A lot of times y'all be sending influencer products and never even ask them what they like. You just like, can I send you this? And you hoping and praying that they going to develop a contract. What about a posting system? You just be like, oh, send the content to my phone. How about you? Whatever you give is what you going to get back. That's what I say. Show people that you put a lot of effort into your ambassador program. She attended fitness events and gave them tips to stay fit.
She also had a podcast named Real Talk with Raven. In her podcast, she talked about the best way to raise mental awareness and helping people in difficult times. She would also collaborate with so many reputable and esteemed brands through her social media platforms. Ray ended up meeting a young man who she fell in love with, he was a native of Chicago who was also a rapper. They kicked it off and it was a very lovely relationship until the worse happened. After two long years of dating, on September 6 of 2022, Ray who decided to hurt herself due to some things which she had been going through but never shared with anyone. Ray had been thinking about hurting herself for a very long time but she was never able to go through with it until September 6, 2022. On this fateful day, she left a note for her boyfriend before she finally went ahead with her action. In the note that was left she had a lot to say about her relationship and what she is going through. The note reads, I'm just tired baby. I was dealing with these thoughts before you met me, I was just waiting for the right time. This is my third time writing this for real. It's nobody's fault. I've been tired for a long time. I gave up a long time ago, I just do a good job of hiding it. Right now, as I'm writing this, I'm remembering us happy, looking at our videos, imagining how beautiful of a bride I would have been. It's 5 p.m. here, this bridge is actually nice. I wish we would have come here together. Some homeless people sprinkled in but not too many. I'm thinking about how this will feel if it will hurt. I used to joke about how recklessly I lived my life before meeting you, truth be told I would put myself in dangerous situations because I didn't care about living. Living just always seemed overrated. I'm sorry Maine, it's one thing to ruin your life, but I had to go and stop mine too. Understand that this is my choice, this is what I wanted. This is what I've wanted for a while. I just don't fit here, I'm not happy in this world. I just can't fake it anymore. I don't want to be here, it's too much on me. I wish I could take it all back. Undo everything so I never even called you. Nothing seemed real Antonio. Not my business, not my relationship, not even me. My heart is weak from stress and my ovaries hurt but they keep saying nothing's wrong. I feel like I have bugs on my skin that won't come off no matter how many times I wash. You were the best thing that happened to me in a long time Tony but I know I'm a lot to deal with. Right now we're as distant as we've ever been. I love you with all my heart. I couldn't take ruining us. I'm losing all the people I love. I want to leave here knowing that I didn't F this one relationship up. I wish you were here to send me off like Murda did Teak, but you probably wouldn't be nearly as understanding anyway. As much as I want you to see my point of view, I didn't want our last conversation to be an argument, so that's why I was so quiet. I really just wanted to hear your voice one last time. You have every right to feel what you feel towards me, baby. I love you Antonio, I pray I get to love you in a better life where I'm a better version of me. You deserve that much. With such a very emotional note, the boyfriend decided to let friends on social media know about this so he posted about her passing on social media. His message on social media reads, Baby why would you do this to me, why would you do this to us I was coming back home I promised you I would. You just gonna leave me forever? You know how many people love you Raven. I would have never left if this was the outcome, the rapper said in a lengthy post of a few sweet moments from their relationship. I'm fed up for the rest of my life baby mentally you just finished me. I'm shaking I'm crying I love you so much stinky pie. My woman my wife my life, you pushed me away so you can do this? I would have died with you Raven I did any and everything for you. I'll never be able to love again. I'll see you soon baby, God help me please. The best two years of my life. God I need you please help me please. What did I do to deserve this? You took my friends and my girl, he said in another post. The police investigated the death of the beautiful model and concluded that it was caused by her harming herself. It was concluded that she had fallen tragically out of her 42nd story apartment which was what led to her death. There was no foul play involved according to the police. This sad ending to a very promising life was felt by a lot of her fans, friends, and family. Our sincere condolences to the friends and family of Raven Jackson. May her soul continue to rest in peace. Please stay safe out there, check on your loved ones and we will see you in the next video.